What's going on guys? Welcome to episode 40 on the Vault Hunters SMP. Did you know there's 40 spaces on a Monopoly board? Interesting. Now stuff I want to do today. You see our storage drives? You see those red lights? Red is bad. That means that these storage thingies are completely full. As you look at it, it says 1024 out of 1024 bytes used. That means these are completely full of 8,000 items each. I mean, as you can see in our system, we got a good amount of items. I mean, we got like rows of items that we have over a thousand up. Now, a few episodes ago, we unlocked these storage drawers, but I haven't gotten around to using them yet. Why? I forget things sometimes. But here's what we're going to do. We have tons of these blocks that have been produced by our gifter statues. You know, these guys over here. And look, we actually got one that gave ancient debris. I didn't even realize that. We got three and a half stacks of that. You'll love to see it. So I want to make a drawer for like every single one of these blocks that we're getting from our gifter statues. So let's go ahead and make a bunch of them. I'm going to make the uh, birch ones because I, I kind of like the light color of it. And they take two Beniatite gems each, but we got gems for days. So let's just see how much it'll let us make. Oh, we can only make six. Oh, I ran out of chests. Also, a cool thing about this mod pack is you can craft chests directly with logs. So boom, just made a stack of chests like it was nothing. We have over 2,000 birch logs thanks to our Omega statue we got a few episodes ago. Now let's see how many we could eat. Yep, just made 61 drawers. No big deal. So where do I want to put them? I want to line this wall over here with just tons of drawers. It's going to be the wall of drawers. I'm just going to have drawers just, you know, dra drawers. Now, drawers are nice and all to hold items, but we need to have a way to connect it to our storage system over here, so that way when we open this guy up, we can see all the items that are in there. This could be done with something called a drawer controller. This guy right here. Of course, in the mod pack, the recipe has changed. It's more expensive and requires two whole pogs. Luckily, we got pog gems for days. We are missing fun soid and ashium, so let's go grab some from our ore attic. Grab a couple fun soid and a couple ashium. And I know y'all want to see me use the Fortune 8 pickaxe on it, and I do not blame y'all. It's very satisfying seeing how many of these ores we can get. Let's we'll start with the fun soid. How many do we get? We get 10. 10 from two ores is not bad. That's an average of five each. Pretty good. Now let's do the Ashium, and we got 12. Yeah, Fortune 8 is a bit overpowered. I definitely recommend everyone to get one. All right, so now we should be able to make two pogs, no problem. Oh no, we ran out of Gorgonite. Let me go grab some. Yoink, yoink, and boom! How many do we get? Oh, we only got five that time. Could be better. So let's make ourselves the second pog. Perfect. Grab ourselves a couple comparators, and we are good to go. We got a drawer controller. And all we have to do is put this guy right here, and it can basically communicate with all these other drawers. Nice. So I'm going to continue placing down this wall of drawers, and I'll be right back. Nice. Well, this is a good start, I think. I'm going to go and grab all the different blocks that we have in the system that we've been getting from our uh, gifter statues and I'm gonna chuck it in. Now what's cool about the drawer controller is you can right click it directly. Oh wait I think you have to put the block in first so if we put in a stack of uh, smooth stone in there I believe we can right click this. Yeah see we right click the controller and it just shoved all of it into that drawer. Nice. So give me a moment to get all of these blocks into their own drawers and I'll be right back. And check it out, I got all of our storage drawers full. Although you can't tell because they all render in, yeah, when I step to here. So basically, these are all the items in our system that we have like more than 400 of. Yeah, basically. And I ordered it in most items to least amount of items in that corner. In fact, uh, each of these drawers can hold 2,048 items. So in some of them, I've actually had to upgrade it, as you can see, the storage upgrade to get it past that number. And this, these storage upgrades are a bit expensive. It increases the storage by 32 times, which is really good. It requires four black opal, which is annoying because I need the black opals for mechanism as well. You also need a compressed block of emeralds, which is nine emerald blocks in one. So yeah, that's 18 emerald blocks for one of these. And if you want to know how to put them in, let me uh, take some of these out so that we, we can actually get the upgrade out. We got to take out a little bit more. There we go. And yeah, now I can take the upgrade out since it's less than 2048. And you just right click the mod like that. You can actually fit a lot more of these upgrades as well. Now, usually I like to put an upgrade on it called void upgrade that destroys excess items. That way, if these ever get full, it'll start deleting the extra items. That way it doesn't clog up your system. But in order to make the void upgrade in this pack, it costs four echo gems. Why? 
Why they make that so expensive? I'm never gonna make this. And this only works on one drawer. I would want to put them on all the drawers. So uh, yeah, I guess I'm not using void upgrades this pack. What else is cool is you could use this block and right click the drawer controller directly and it knows where to place it. As you can see, it put it all inside of this drawer because the drawer controller could communicate with all of them. Next, we're going to want to make something called a drawer key. So let's make one of those bad boys real quick. This allows us to lock the drawers. What does that mean? So let's say we lock this mystery egg drawer. Yeah, you can see the little keyhole there. That means that it's locked. And if we take out all of the eggs, funny enough, they all went into our danks. But if we look at it, it says zero, but it still has the mystery egg saved because it's locked like a filter. Because if we take out all these guys, now the drawer is empty. And I want to make sure that if we pull out all the type of item it doesn't empty that drawer you know it's like filter stuff now i gotta figure out where those mystery eggs went ah there they are put them back in so i'm gonna go ahead and lock all these drawers and i'll be back in a second all right so now there's just one issue we have all of the stuff in the drawers good also check it out all of our red and orange lights are gone now they're all blue lights that means it's happy it means we have tons of room in our system now but if we open it up, we can't even see any of the items in our drawer. So like, what's the point of having this if I can't use it in here to craft things? That's what we need to make the Emmy storage bus for. And they're a bit expensive. It's going to require some gems and stuffs and things, but I should be able to make it quite easily. So we just have to make ourselves an ME interface. And then we, uh, yep, got everything we need for the ME storage bus. Ooh, we got an achievement, Limitless Potential. Nice. So remember how the drawer controller communicates with all these other drawers? What you can do is go underneath it, slap down the storage bus, and then all we have to do is connect it to our ME cables. And I've already dug a tunnel over here, so you can go under here, ignore the power cable, and our ME cables are, yeah, over here. So I just gotta place a bunch of cables and connect this bad boy. And there we go, I ran our cables all the way over here. Next thing you want to do is right click the storage bus, click the priority, and give it like a thousand. Basically, we want this thing to take top priority. Every time we put an item in our storage, we want it to go into our drawers instead of the discs. Now we should be able to connect this up. There we go. Put the floor back in. Nice. I love how the cables all go underground and it's nice and neat. Now, when we open up our system, boom! We can see all those items in our drawers and our discs are still happy. So now we shouldn't have to worry about our discs overflowing anymore. And now that we have our drawers set up, there's finally something that I've been wanting to do. Remember how we made this like dock forever ago? There's something else that this dock could do other than just be used to upgrade our danks. We need to make something called a import bus. So let me go ahead and get all the things that I need to make this. Oh gosh, this is going to take a ton of Laramar to make. And uh, yeah, I'll be right back. And there we go. Got everything we need for the import bus. Nice. So what you're going to want to do is slap that bad boy right on the bottom. No, not on the side. I said the bottom. No. Now will you go on the bottom, please? What? Why does it keep going on the side? There we go. And put a cable there to hook it up. Sweet. So let's take our gem dank for example. It's got a bunch of stuff. Just remember this number has 68 catalyst fragments. So we should be able to put it into here, go to our system and look up catalyst fragments. And you can see it's being pulled out into our system straight from the dank. And this is something important to do because if we ever die in the vault, lose all our danks, we don't want to lose all the stuff inside the dank. So after each few vault runs, I'm going to want to put it into this dock and it will export into the system. Now it's kind of slow, but we can put acceleration cards into this to speed it up a lot. The question is how expensive are acceleration cards in this pack? Um, it uses Betiotite or Laramar. Oh, it's going to use these calculation processors, more vault nuggets. The way you make vault nuggets is with the vault dust. Luckily, we have a lot of this vault dust. As you see, we have like 800 of it. So we're just gonna make a bunch of these. I'm gonna want four acceleration cards because uh, we want we want it to go fast. So there we go. Should be able to make two of these, and then we need to make two of these and four of these. Yeah, uh, applied logistics is a bit expensive in this pack, but we should be able to get four. Oh wait, what do we need? Oh no, we need more. Pure Fluix. Ah, but you see here in this pack, you could use the enrichment chamber to make pure Fluix. See, this is why we went mechanism. Mechanism is going to help a ton. Remember, we used to have to use the this crystal growth accelerator and it took forever. 
Now we can go over here to our enrichment chamber and we just run it through here to get some more. A lot easier. There we go, we got our pure fluid, so we should be able to make the rest of these acceleration cards. Boom! Wait, no, we wanted four. What am I missing? Oh, we need more perfect Beniatite. We always need more perfect Beniatite. Oh, no, I'm gonna need more. Maybe? Do we? Hey, we got four. Sweet. So question, did this finish sucking out our dank? No, it's still sucking because it sucks. But it's about to suck less once we put in the four acceleration cards. This should go a lot quicker like uh let's see how far it's got yeah it already emptied the whole thing yeah acceleration cards make it go quick now let's try out our stone dank which has a thousand iron ore in it luckily we have iron ore inside of our drawers now yeah that guy right there so it shouldn't fill up the system but i want to see how fast it's gonna pull items out ready go all right let's search up uh iron ore uh hasn't got into it yet oh there it goes boom yeah it's pulling out like a hundred a tick you'll love to see it and I think it's probably already empty. Let's check. The issue here is I actually want stone here so I could like place blocks in the vault. So I'm just going to grab a few stacks of stone and put it back into the dank. But yeah, now after every few vault runs, we can just slap our danks into there and it'll pull out all the items. Like check out our mob drops on. We got like a thousand bones, a thousand rotted flesh. And it's stuff that I actually want to keep because eventually it will show up in the vaulter. So let's just slap that in there and just get a bunch of items. Now I will say one annoying thing is every time you use this, you have to reset it back to filtered pickup. For some reason, it changes the pickup method. Oh no, it looks like we have a red light of doom. Probably because our Danks had a bunch of items I don't have drawers for. Yeah, like such as golden nuggets. We just got over a thousand of that we don't have a drawer for. Well, luckily, there's something else very useful inside the drawer mod called a compacting drawer. Sadly, compacting drawers are quite expensive and requires two pogs and a double compressed block of iron. Like, I don't know why they're so expensive in this pack. I mean, I'll make one of them just to show you guys how it works because we have so many uh, pog ores. Looks like we're going to need a bit more puffier, but I'll make one. Like, seriously, with a uh, fortune eight now, just... Pogs are so easy to make. Like, we just got 16 Puffium. Uh, it's such a joke. So let's go ahead and make ourselves two Pogs. Oh no, of course we're missing one. Why are we always just missing one? I have to go back up to the ore attic. Bomb Ignite. And let's go find some more. Bomb Ignite. Get in my inventory. I'm, I'm grabbing three of them. That's right. I usually do two at once. Now I'm going three. Alright, let's get lucky. Hey, we only got six from that? That was a pretty low roll, not gonna lie. Whatever, just give me my two Pogs. Make ourselves a couple pistols. Now the question is, do we have enough iron for a double compressed block of iron? Oh my god, that's gonna be so much iron. So we need nine of the single compressed blocks, and then we have to double compress. Yeah, we got enough iron, okay. And boom, we got ourselves a compacting drawer. Now I'm going to want one of these for each of the types of ingots, but I think I'll just start with gold for now. So what we could do here is we could put it along our drawers. Don't worry, the drawer controller can still communicate with compacting drawers. Then you just put the gold in on the corner. Actually, that was the wrong corner. Do we put it in the top slot? No. Uh, maybe we put it in the bottom corner slot. No. All right, let's try this. Let's try to put gold nuggets in. Okay, that's what I want. So let's go ahead and put all of our gold in here. So what's cool about this is... Uh, the compacting drawers are smart enough to know that uh, gold can be turned into like one block of gold could turn into nine ingots and one block of gold could turn into what is it like 81 nuggets so by looking at it we can pull out the nuggets which is going into our dank you know, let's get this dank out of here so I can actually show you guys so you can pull out some of the nuggets cool put that back in or we can decide to get ingots cool or we can decide to pull out the blocks of gold so now we want to go to our system and pull out all of the gold nuggets and all of the gold ingots. All right, I got all of the gold out of the system, but what's awesome is I could just right click this drawer controller. Actually, ah, that's right. I haven't locked this yet. Whoops. Don't forget, you also have to lock your drawer controller and now we should be able to right click our gold. Yeah, right click all of the gold. Yeah, it's all into here now. All went into the compacting drawer. Now what's cool about the compacting drawers is if we look at our system, it says we have 4,000 gold nuggets. It also says we have 453 gold blocks and ingots. So basically the system's smart enough that if you like wanted to craft something that needed gold, it would pull out the nuggets, ingots, or blocks of gold depending on what you needed. Pretty neat. Now my question is, it says we have 4,000 gold nuggets, and then divide that by 9, 450 ingots, that makes sense, but why does it say we have 450 blocks of gold, what? 
Well, actually, let me take out 450 blocks of gold. Oh my gosh, it is. What the heck? Um, well, that's a bit sus because I definitely did not have this many blocks of gold before. Wait, if I turn this back into ingots and then put everything back in. Oh my god, I think I might have found a duplication glitch. Oops. Guys, don't call the cops on me. I promise it was a mistake. Well, guys, uh, pretend you didn't see any of that and definitely do not use that in your world. Uh, goodbye, blocks of gold. Well, yeah, what's supposed to happen is it's supposed to divide these ingots by nine and show it in the blocks of gold. I, I don't know why it's like bugged out unless you duplicate. And no, I'm not going to be taking advantage of that. We're playing legit here. All right, so I've been doing a bit of messing around with these compacting drawers to try to figure out what's going on. Uh, I broke the gold one and replaced it, and now it's working correctly. As you can see, it's dividing by nine. I even made one for iron, and this one's working correctly. So I, I really don't know what happened. I'm just gonna like pretend nothing happened. So I've been getting comments of people saying that I should bring the Omega statues to the factory and have it automatically go into the AE system. And guess what? I did it. So I brought all five of our beautiful Omegas over here. They're all on top of their own chest and take a look at what I did. These right here are called advanced logical transporters. Uh, basically, it's for mechanism and they're, they're, they're item pipes. Right now, uh, you, you can see it. It just sucked an item out of the chest. You see, they're all sucking all the items and they're going into this chest right here. Now, all we have to do is the same thing we did with the, uh, with the dank dock. Just put a import bus here and we can connect it to our system. So that way all the Omega statues, the blocks they get are gonna go right into the ME system. Nice. Also, I have a ton of gifter statues that I've been acquiring. I've basically just been putting them on this chest and letting them make their blocks, but now we can put them in between the Omegas and all these chests are automatically gonna go into the system, so. Finally, we can uh, get all these use out of our statues. And in the last episode, I asked y'all to give me a username to make this Omega statue. So let's go ahead and pick a comment and random. And the winner is da -da 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 -da. Caesar Gonzalez with the username Hidden King HVR. There you go. Welcome to the Omega Club. I know because it's making diorite, a lot of people wanted me to name it Iskal, which would have been pretty funny. I agree. But yeah, now we have all these statues going into our system. In fact, if we come down here, we should. Yeah, you can see all the uh, different items being sucked out as the statues produce it. Nice. And with that, we're out of time for today's episode. We got a bunch of the grindy storage stuff done with the drawers and the disc and the statue. So glad we got that out of the way. I'll catch you guys in the next one. CWG out.